I'm not going to sing. I didn't even expect to, be, you know, to come up here, but I thought I'm, I'm going to say say a few words. Uh, back, I think, in 2014 or something, I had two people come to my door and invite me to church, and that was Hope and Josh. And at that time, I was going to going to a church, and but it was just kind of off and on, and I hadn't been there for a long time, and I started going to another church uh, when COVID hit, and they decided they were just going to close the doors, and I texted Hope, and I said, are y'all still having church? She said, yeah. I said, well, I'll be there. And that was, I think, about two, about two years ago. And I was welcomed here just like I've been here all my life. Uh, the people here, Doug and Mary Jane, treated me just like family. Uh, I was... When my daughter was, well, not my daughter, <laughs> my granddaughter was in Brenner's fighting for her life. Y'all prayed. Y'all helped with a lot of things. And she come out, and you cannot tell that she ever had anything wrong with her. She is active. Uh, anytime I need prayer or just just somebody to talk to or just somebody to to, to support or anything, <coughs> Pastor Doug and they just stay there. They don't have to say anything. They just there. Uh, God showed me a church to where I can come to, where I can feel welcomed. And uh, there's a lot of things going on right now. Uh, my sister, I need you all to pray for my sister. She is She don't have much time. I went down yesterday, spent time with her. She couldn't speak. She was struggling to breathe. I held her hand and I said a prayer. I asked you, ask, <coughs> I asked God to to go ahead and take her home. And I told my sister, I, I said, "It's all right. You can go." I just need prayer. Uh, she's the last of, that's in our family. And it's very hard. I don't like to see her struggle. I'm in pain. So, I mean, 
I asked the church to pray that God comes and takes her. Takes her home. Thank you.